Happy New Year, Viper Nation, and welcome back to another episode of This Week with Chief. We are at the board today learning how to solve a system of equations using the substitution method. Let's take a look at our first example. We've got two equations here, y equals 8 and negative 3x minus 4y equals negative 23. So the substitution method tells us to take this value of 8 and substitute it in to this equation in place of y. So instead of a y, I'm going to take this value, which is 8, and plug it in. Next, we're going to multiply negative 4 times 8, leaving us with negative 3x minus 32 equals negative 23. I'm going to then use inverse operations to solve for x. So we're going to add 32 to both sides, leaving us with negative 3x equals 9. Next, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3, which leaves us with x equaling negative 3. Now, I need my y value also. Remember, that's 8. And what this tells us, if we were to graph these two equations on a coordinate plane, they would intersect at negative 3, comma, 8. Let's take a look at our next example. In this example, you'll see this time y is equal to 3x, and we don't know what x is. So we're going to use the substitution method to help us find out. We're going to take 3x and substitute that in for y. And then we're going to multiply. So 8 times 3x gives us 24x. Next, we will combine like terms. We're going to combine these two terms, which gives us 21x and then inverse operations to solve for x. Divide both sides by 21, we get x equals negative 1. Once again, we need to know also what our value of y is. And so we go back up here, we're going to choose that equation, we're going to plug in negative 1 for x. And when we multiply, we find out that y is equal to negative 3. So if we were to graph these two equations on a coordinate plane, they would intersect at negative 1, comma, negative 3. Let's take a look at our third example. In our third example, our first equation is written in slope-intercept form. y equals 4x minus 9. Still going to use the substitution method. We're going to take this value of y, 4x minus 9, and once again, substitute it in for y. We're going to put 4x minus 9 right here. Step 3 tells us we're going to distribute and then combine like terms. I'm going to multiply by 4, giving me 16x, and then I'm going to multiply by negative 9, giving me negative 36. Next, we want to combine like terms. 2x and 16x gives me 18x. Now, this is a two-step equation. We're going to add 36 to both sides, leaving me with 18. Then divide both sides by 18 to determine that x is equal to 1. Now, just like the last example, we've got to take this value of x and plug it back in so we can determine what y is. So I'm going to plug in 1 for x, and when I simplify, we find out that y is equal to negative 5. So if we were to graph these two equations on a coordinate plane, once again, they would intersect at 1, comma, negative 5. Now let's look at our last example. In this example, both equations are solved for y. They're both in slope-intercept form. Still going to use substitution. I'm going to take this value of y, and I'm going to plug it in, in place of y. 
So we'll have an equation that looks like this. Negative 5x plus 10 equals 3x minus 14. We solved equations with variables on both sides when we were working through topic two. So we should know how to do this. We're gonna start with our smaller variable term and add 5x to both sides. Next, we're gonna move our constant to the opposite side. That would be the left-hand side of the equation. This gives us 24 equals 8x. I then divide both sides by eight and x is equal to three. Now, we need to find out what y is. We can choose either one of these original equations. I'm gonna choose the second one, so I don't have to worry about that negative sign. So we've got three times this value of x minus 14. That gives me a value of negative five for y. If we were to graph these two equations on a coordinate plane, they would intersect at three, negative five. And that's how you use the substitution method to solve a system of equations. Hey, shout out to Amber McMahon for the great New Year's necklace. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of This Week with Chief.